Good afternoon, fitness fam. I'm Erin Taroski, and this is Crunches and Coffee. My cat's gonna jump up here in a minute. There he is, that's Orange Julius Caesar. <laughs> he goes by Julius. Um, it is about 1.30 here on Saturday, October 5th. I am checking in with you guys. Uh, hi, happy Halloween. Here in Salem, it's been Halloween for about five days already. The decorations are up, the costumes are out, the people are drinking, and we had our parade on Thursday. So Halloween is in full swing. It is a whole month event here in Salem. I love it. It's great. Uh, the first two weeks are pretty tame. The last two weeks, it gets kind of crazy. And we wrap up the month with Go Ruck events on the last weekend. So we've got um, Friday night light, Saturday morning light, Saturday afternoon scavenger. So if you're in the New England area and you want to check those out, uh, we have a bunch of people doing them from Beantown Ruck Club. Uh, get registered and come out with us. It's a lot of fun. There's costumes and heavy stuff and a bar crawl during the scavenger. So, hello. Uh, today, I've, I've been pretty off my game this week. Um, I've been getting on the train at 5.37 in the morning and it's been really hard for me to get any working out done, let alone podcasting. So I've been taking my ruck to and from work, getting about two to three miles total per day, which is not very much, but again, it's better than nothing. Um, I took advantage of this morning to get caught up, uh, started out at seven with some yoga, rucked to the Y for a power yoga class, rucked about four and a half miles on the treadmill after that, rucked another two and a half miles on the way home, uh, stopped for a bagel and some coffee on the way, and then did a ruck workout when I got here, increased to 40 pounds today, pretty excited about that. So I'm feeling good. It took me about four hours total and I needed it because I have so much pent up energy this week. Uh, it's just been eating away at my brain. So I feel a lot more normal now. I'm glad I got that in. I'll probably do another two or three hours tomorrow morning. And uh, yeah, good times. So uh, today, uh, today is the Ohio State game. Uh, we are playing Michigan, who are at Michigan State, who is four and one. Uh, and I believe the game's at 7.30 tonight. I'm gonna be at an amusement park with a friend, so I can't watch it. Uh, so I'm wearing some scarlet and gray gear and my Buckeyes, and uh, I will be cheering them on from afar here in Boston. So actually, I'll be in Salem, New Hampshire for that at the amusement park. So go Bucks, do a good job. Um, I got a new patch this week. Uh, this came in from the GRT Kitty Club, uh, the world's most expensive, <laughs> most expensive cat bed. Uh, which is absolutely true. If you have a rock and you have a cat, the two will inevitably meet at some point and there will be cat hair everywhere. Uh, my black bullet always has cat hair on it because this guy likes to sit on it. So uh, for some reason, go rock should go into the cat bed business and make another fortune. So <laughs> you can make those in Vietnam. It's okay. Um, I wanted to chat with you guys a little bit. Uh, next weekend, I'm going to Brooklyn. There is a very special event down in Brooklyn. It is a crossover Go Ruck Ingress event. Actually, there's two things that we're doing. So Friday night is the Stealth, uh, which is basically a light. It's They used to do it as a 12-hour format, and it was kind of like a, a midway in difficulty between a tough and a light, and now they do it as a six-hour event, and it's like it's a solid light. So it's, it's a good... Um, Kind of, it, it's a lower intensity for a lot of the Ingress people aren't as in, um, involved in Goruck as the Goruck community tends to be. So it's a, it's a good intro for them. That's how I personally got into Goruck is by doing the Goruck cross Ingress events. And uh, here we are today <laughs> after two HTLs. So it's a good stepping stone for people who are looking to get involved. Uh, Ingress, if you're not familiar with it, uh, you may be familiar with Pokemon Go or Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Ingress, I like to tell people, is kind of the darker, more subversive older brother to those two games. So if you look in those games, there's all these points of interest that are Pokestops um, or gyms or hotel or uh, inns and greenhouses and fortresses in Harry Potter. And those got there because going back to November 2012, people put them into Ingress as waypoints. Or there were also some that were auto-populated like post offices, churches, that kind of stuff. Um, but we did that. Uh, we found those points of interest. Um, Niantic, which was then part of Google, put them into this AI map, um, augment, AR, augmented reality map, and used them um, basically to create a grid where people could interact with the game and Google could gain data and figure out where people were walking and how fast they were going. So Ingress is how I got started into GORUCK. And the event they're doing, the two events they're doing in Brooklyn, uh, one is Stealth, which is basically 
there's some physical challenges, some relay races. It pits the two different factions in Ingress, which are the enlightened, the good guys, the green guys, and the resistance, uh, the blue guys. It pits them against each other. Uh, we work for points and then we gain uh, intel that can be used to help our teams in the actual Ingress event, the competition, which is the next afternoon. So that should be a lot of fun. Uh, everybody carries 20 pounds for that one. There's no um, weight requirement based on your body weight. It's just 20 pounds across the board. Um, we go, we go head to head and have some fun, burn some calories, and then the next day uh, we stare around, stare and walk at our walk around and stare at our phones. So uh, the other event they're doing is called Rock the Box, which is kind of a newer event. And basically, you split off into teams and you do things for your faction, uh, cover ground in the play area. So the actual anomaly itself, which is the the main event of the weekend, takes place in a predefined area in Brooklyn and. Um, the Ruck the Box teams kind of go over that area, and there's a prize for the group that covers the most ground. Uh, I think it's average of all the people on the team. I have to review the rules. Um, but that's the that's the second event that weekend. It's a little less um, PT intense than the Stealth. The Stealth is more of a, a classic Ingress uh, Go Ruck challenge, and Ruck the Box is just it's it's just a, it's just like rocking basically for four hours. So that's going to be a lot of fun, um, heading down there Friday morning, coming back very early Sunday, um, and hoping to get some good workouts in and see some friends along the way. It's been a little bit since I've played Ingress competitively. I've been much more focused on Go Rock lately, so it'll be good to get back in the game, so to speak. And uh, they, do, they do give you a patch, of course. Um, this is one of my old uh, Go Ruck stealth patches. Uh, so you can see Ingress and Go Ruck. Uh, if you want to download Ingress and play it, it's on the Play Store. Um, it's for both Android and iOS, and uh, it's fun. It's a good way to just get out and see new cities if you're traveling or stare at your phone and have people give you funny looks as you stand in place and tap, 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 and then move to the next one. But it's entertaining, uh, and it gives you something to do. So if you like Harry Potter, Wizards Unite, and you like Pokemon Go, give it a try. It's a lot of the same stuff, and uh, it, visually it's a little bit, uh, easier on the eyes because it's it's a dark background and it's um, the color scheme's a lot different too. So give it a try. It's fun. Um, I think that's about all I have. Uh, tomorrow, like I said, I'm probably going to get up early and try to do, do another workout in the morning. And then I'm working an ER shift um, at my new job at Angel just to pick up some extra cash tomorrow evening uh, from 5 to 10. So I'm uh, going to go down to Boston for that and uh, pick up a shift with my boss who's the one of the hospital execs so uh, that'll be good times but uh, anyway I just wanted to check in I know it's been a little less frequent lately but I have been super super busy uh, just trying to stay on top of things and stay in shape hope you guys are doing the same uh, if you've got any questions about Ingress if you've got anything you want to say um, about Ingress or any of the other augmented reality games from Niantic I'm very active in mostly Wizards Unite anymore um, but I do play all three of them from time to time. So let me know in the comments. Uh, if you've got any good workouts coming out, uh, coming up, let me know in the comments below. And uh, until next time, I'm probably going to try to check in with you guys from Brooklyn. Uh, definitely going to write up a blog entry on that one. So uh, I'll submit that to GoRec and see if they want to put that on their website. Uh, I've been writing for them lately. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. My last one did go live, so I wrote up um, a little, it's about 1,100 words. Uh, that's on the GORUCK website. It's called More Than a Medal. It's about the Travis Mannion 9-11 uh, Boston Heroes run. So check that out. It's live on the GORUCK website. And uh, it's a good read. It's quick. And it uh, talks about my battle buddy, Tina. Uh, we're training for team assessment together. So that's in there too. So I will check in with you guys in the next couple days. Until then, go out and do something good for your body today. Bye!